Hey everybody, here we are, turn five on the Blitz. So, one of the first things I do when I start a Blitz is I look at the scoreboard. And uh, when I look here I see, okay, he's built another freighter. So, he's only got two warships, two LCCs I believe, and two probably LDSFs. So what this suggests to me is he's probably working on his economic development. Um, from my dark sense data over the last couple turns, uh, it looks like his route of expansion has been to go to this planet on turn two and then this planet on turn three. So as I said before, he if he's sending an LCC to me, he, it's probably there on turn four and then maybe there on turn five. Uh, so. I have this Superstar Frigate right here, and uh, what I want to do right away is set up a big minefield. Uh, basically, you want to do this pretty much any time you've got a Cloaker race as an enemy. If you don't have Anti-Cloak, then you're really going to want minefields. Uh, whether you're playing against Privateer, Birds, Fascists, or Lizards, they can really ruin your day by doing ground attacks uh, or just killing your LDSFs uh, whenever they want. So since I'm Evil Empire with no anti-cloaking, it's really a priority for me to set up those minefields right away and to help protect these uh, native populations from ground attack uh, or from getting attacked by a ship, which would cause their population to go down. So here's my Gorby. Uh, it says it's going to take four turns to get there, but if I zoom in, it's, it's only one light year away, and I think, okay, maybe there's a way to, to fudge this a bit. And shouts out to McNimble for his redrawn filter. Uh, it lets you use these intercept evasion points, as he calls them. Uh, what they basically do is they take a advantage of a rounding error in Planets New that allows you to go one extra light year in your travels than you would or ordinarily be capable of. So if I can get that one extra light year, that might allow me to hit his homeworld in three turns instead of four. So that could be a big difference. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to go for that. On the economic front, uh, I'm going to try to get this avian planet going as quickly as possible. Uh, it's also producing some pretty good minerals for me. So what I'm going to probably do is get uh, this LDSF to go down there pretty quickly. Uh, to come back and forth to drop more clans and get some kind of... Uh, growth tax strategy going here. Since this population is only 1 million, I think I could probably uh, benefit from some growth on this planet. As for my MDSF here, um, it's going to go here and scout that this planet to see what's there. It's going to go with a standard loadout of 100 clans, 100 supplies, and 400 mega credits. Uh, that way I can set up some mines there really quickly if I want. And then finally this large deep space freighter will drop all its clans onto the planet and start taxing the natives as much as possible. Now this planet has a really good natives for taxing, so I, I don't want to build too many mines because that will reduce their happiness a lot. If uh, For every 200 mines or factories that you build, taxation will go down by one happiness, or rather the native happiness will go down by one. Uh, and, and that's a pretty big deal. Uh, in this case, that's uh, maybe 70 mega credits per turn that I'll lose if I build too many mines. So. I'll, I'll err on the, the lower side here and just build a modest amount of mines. Maybe I'll, I'll build some factories too, just to 
use those for later if I want to make defense posts here. And I'll probably want to do that because when you when you're playing against Lizard, you're really vulnerable to ground attack. Uh, and even if you've got thousands of clans on a planet, uh, one LCC full of clans can take you out pretty quickly. So you really want to have lots of clans and the ability to build defense posts. Um, so one thing I will want to do is I'm going to get those mega credits on board this LDSF. And actually, I think I'm going to I'm going to skip the mega credits maybe here on this MDSF after all because um, I really need some mega credits at home. So I'm actually going to bring these back instead. So I only have 383 mega credits left, so that doesn't leave me a lot to build a nice ship. So what I'm going to do is just build a nice cheap medium deep space freighter. And I'll use this to go back and forth between these planets if it will uh, bring money and whatever minerals as needed. When you are low on money, um, a medium deep space freighter is usually a pretty way, a good way to go. And you can build them really cheap with really cheap engines. So when in doubt, just build an MPSF. And then you can save your money for another turn and build a bit, bit better ship than you otherwise could. Okay, doke. I think uh, this is all for this turn. So I'll catch you next turn on turn six. <laughs>